Boys and girls, welcome back to Fallout to New Vegas. In the last episode, we were at Nellis Air Force Base doing everything for the boomers with Sunshine, Boogie, Ant, Misbehaven, and then uh, the over-umbrella quest of Alare. But we're going to be tidying some stuff up around the wasteland before we head into Vegas and start doing proper New Vegas activity. Or I'll give you guys the option in the uh, comment section if you care to comment and let your opinions be know. We can start the DLCs. We're going to go to the mini-map. We're going to make a first pit stop by going back... The Prim. I don't remember if this is going to trigger the event or if it's going to be a stepping stone on the way to triggering the event, but there's two things I want to accomplish here because um, we have Raul as a companion. I don't know the exacts of Raul's companion quest, but he likes seeing old people help their communities, and Johnson Nash is an old people. So I want to see if talking to Johnson Nash will do anything. What are you doing here? Okay. This is our casino, punk. So if you help Prim and then come back a few days or a few weeks later, these people will show up. That's what I was trying to get going. Punk, that's my line. Huh. You've got moxie, buddy. But we don't take kindly to tourists on our turf. 100 caps should cover this trip into our territory. Beach 30, your turf? I guess that news hasn't reached you yet. Prim has law again. Fuck. We lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. Not even We're just sheriff. trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. Well, you picked a really bad spot to come to if you're trying to get away from the NCR, because I definitely picked the NCR as the people that are in charge of this place. You've resorted to robbing and raiding to solve your problems? Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders. But we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts. And we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. I don't even have, like, a thought process on this. This entire plan is just stupid. No fucking way. We're deserters now. The NCR isn't gonna throw us a ticker tape parade for going home. Well, they do have a few more troops than the four of you. I imagine the NCR doesn't deal with deserters kindly. I, it's just prison time, but... Sure, that one. No biggie there. We've been avoiding the patrols and staying low-key until this mess. And then you show up in an NCR-controlled town? Maybe you're right. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here before the law shows up. All right. So that's what I was trying to trigger before I talked to Johnson Nash. I just didn't know if I had to trigger that event or if I would have to do something then trigger that event. But basically that's a stepping stone on progressing this casino to being a casino again and I can come back and gamble. So once you deal with those people, it sets wheels in motion that I can leave and come back again and this will be an, a, a completely functioning casino for those of you that didn't know or... Just a little bit of tidbit extra information, so... We will come back to Prim again, maybe in an episode or two, if I remember. And it'll be a casino. Or actually, we'll probably come back to Prim later, later, later in the series, because I have a video planned where I'm gonna get banned from every casino, so... Until then, we will keep on keeping on. Why are you out here in the middle of the street? The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. Why did you say that's so funny? Alright, let's talk to Johnson Nash and see if he is a thing for Raul. Wow, I went way too far to the right. Hey there, youngster. That beat up whole thing. What do you want to know? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. Are you welcome to try? It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Spoken like a true Don't boomer. Alright, that adds the quest, Edie, my love. I think I might be able to fix this thing at this point in the game. A few primary electronic systems need to be fully functional, and there are redundant systems all... And the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems and secondary systems, you're compensated to make up for the repairs. Sure. I had to circle back to the issue I needed because I clicked on the wrong option. Oh my god, you are high as hell. I guess I could say goodbye to Rex for the time being. I think I've done everything I can do with Rex, so... Talk to... 
Happy Bark. Oh, you're not gonna like this. Uh, d -d -d time to part ways. Alright, he went back to Freeside. Now, Edie, come with me. Alright, now, I don't know what Edie's companion quest really is either, and apparently Raul doesn't feel any type of way about Johnson Nash, so... I'm gonna make another quick pit stop to someone that I know he does have a comp uh, opinion about. Because I know Raul will talk to you if you talk to Ranger Andy. I just don't know if me already of talking to Ranger Andy will have done anything. Honestly, I'm not sure if I've talked to Rand er, Ranger Andy Ranger Andy in this playthrough either. So let's find out. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Um, I can go check on them, but I've played this game before. Um, I'm sorry to let you know in advance. Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Okay. Now, Raul, do you have anything to say about that? Hey, boss. Yeah, you do. Can I ask you something? What's on your mind? What do you think of guys like Ranger Andy? I think he's a hero of the NCR. That wasn't what I meant, really. I mean, guys who have a world of experience doing what they do would have to give it up because they're getting old and slow or too injured. Raul's eyes are looking different directions. I don't know if that's a mod thing or if that's how he just looks. Even after a crippling injury, a guy like Andy's tougher and more dangerous than most men alive. Maybe, yeah. I guess you got a point there. We're not just talking about Ranger Andy, are we? No, Raul has a, uh... Tough time dealing with the fact that he's also getting old. Not really, boss. No. After the fire, I knew my sister and I couldn't stay at Hidalgo Ranch anymore. The refugees still wanted me dead. They even put a bounty on me. I remember how scared Rafaela was. I told her if she came with me, we'd see the vaqueros. She used to love the rodeo, especially the trick rider. We figured maybe we could find help in Mexico City. We were young. We didn't know what had happened, really. We didn't understand about the bombs. Wasn't Mexico City basically annihilated in the Great War again? Does somebody that has more in information about the lore of Fallout know why Mexico City was targeted? Like, I could very easily Google that and try to figure it out. Or, like, maybe Oxhorn's made a video on I don't think he has, because I would have seen it by now, but... What, what did Mexico City do? I don't think it was as hard hit as D.C. or Bakersfield. But it was bad enough. By the time we got there... The city was a radioactive ruin. Still, the city was full of looters, already forming into the beginnings of raider tribes. Crime was bad before the war, but now it was a nightmare. We were living like scavengers, scraping by on what little food we could find, always looking for medicine for my burns. And then, of course, the radiation started to kick in, turning me into this handsome devil you see before you. Sounds pretty bad. You're a poet of understatement, boss. But there were moments it was almost worth it. I still remember finding that novelty costume shop. I was just looking around for something I could slice up to wrap my burns when I saw the vaquero outfit hanging on the rack like it hadn't been touched. I took it, not like anybody else needed it, you know, and wore it back to our camp. Rafaela laughed for the first time since the bombs had fallen. So you're a thief. Damn, Raul. I didn't know that about you. It was. I started to build up a legend. Sometimes it headed off trouble. But most of the times it just started more. Young punks looking to prove themselves would come looking for me. But my eyes were sharp and my guns were quick. For a while it seemed like we might even survive there. Until... Until Rafaela. What happened? She went out to find some food one day. I was sick, so I stayed at our camp. I guess it must have been the beginning of radiation poison. Anyway, it was supposed to be safe, but some raiders happened to pass through where she was scavenging. I won't speak of what they did to her. 
When I found her body, the only way to recognize her was this funny little scar on her knee from when she was a little girl. That's terrible, right? <laughs> terrible doesn't begin to cover it, boss. I let my whole family down. First the ranch, now Rafaela. I was the last Tejada. I guess maybe I went a little crazy then. I took my guns and went back to that market. I didn't have many bullets, but I had enough. After the raiders were dead, I salvaged what I could from the store. I was tired. I just wanted to be alone forever. So what did you do? I left Mexico City behind. I made my way out to the Gulf Coast. Eventually, I found an old Petro Chico refinery nobody had claimed. I stayed there for a little while, and I thought a lot about my life. I thought about the guns I'd lived by and what they'd gotten me. I decided my guns hadn't gotten me anything, and it was time to give it up. I took off the old Vaquero outfit and put on a Petro Chico jumpsuit. The name tag said Miguel, so I started using the name myself. Eventually, I made it to Arizona. That's another story, boss. All right, and that is all Raul has to say for this chapter of what his backstory is. Granted, Raul's backstories are very long tales, so you have anything to say about No Bark? I doubt it, but anyway, we have to make our way to Gibson's scrapyard now. I think I accidentally started E.E.'s quest. Didn't really anticipate on doing that, but hey, we'll do it. Why not? Uh-oh. I see those red ticks. I see you. My perception is very high. If you're Legion, you better not be here. Or is it just mole rats? Get him, boss. Nope, 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 it's Legion. That's Legion. It's Legion. It's Legion. Right next to Helios 1. It's an NCR outpost. This is Legion. Help! Stop chasing me. How many times have I fought this assassin group? It seems like four or five. Do they respawn? Did, did, did Jay Sawyer Ultimate Edition destroy me? You put your gun. Pull your gun out! Okay. Since when the fuck does the Legion use plasma grenades? <laughs> Alright, so the Legion destroyed me. Let's try that again. Alright, this time I'm ready for you. Where are you guys at? Except for I'm terrible at this, so... This is probably not doing any damage whatsoever. Retribution. Is that everybody? Y'all got me with a plasma grenade last time, which I didn't even know you guys used, but I accidentally picked up too much, but we're going to Gibson's Scrapyard anyway, so I'll just take the extra minute to walk over here and then sell the stuff I picked up on accident. All right, old Eddie Gibson, let's talk. So, you're back. All right, Eddie appears to have some Enclave log data stored that is triggered by keywords. Good to know. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe Reinforcement Project for the combat model iBots. Continue. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. 
I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. Uh, continue. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Triggered by keywords indeed. I don't know... What else it could be, but we'll figure it out as we go, brothers. So in the meantime, so we might make our way to the strip and start doing that, or there's some unfinished business in Freeside that I think would be the better option, so let's start with that. Alright, that was a bit of a scatterbrained approach to where I was trying to get, but as, honestly, as I said everything I was saying out loud, it just kind of made sense that this is what I should be doing. Oh, there are three of you this time. I didn't bring the gay doctor and the dog robot this time. This time your ass is going to get kicked by a ghoul mechanic and a floating toaster. So, good job, free, free side thugs. Anywho, let's put that away. I think I already started the thing I'm trying to do by talking to the people at the Mormon Fort, so we have to make our way to the Atomic Wrangler, which... We might have to fight people because I'm not sure if we've already killed all the Van Graffs in this part of town. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing we already killed all the Van Graffs, because I'm not being shot in this part of town. But let's go to the Atomic Wrangler. How's it going? How's it going? Alright, so let's talk to James. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? The followers need to find someone to trade with for supplies. Really now? Well, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Not being very Plus, discreet about extra it. Extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. I might be able to work something out. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to... We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. So that's that. Let us... go... Back to the old Mormon fort now. Talk to Julie Farkas, who is the Mohawk lady. Welcome. I think I found someone who'll be able to cover your supplies. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? The Garrett twins. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? You get your chems and can help who gets addicted. True, we could help addicts, but the cycle of addiction, recovery, and relapse would remain. They just need tech support and raw materials. With the surplus of supplies, you could use your caps and influence to expand. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. You know what? I'm not going to question it. I am going to question it, just not in front of Julie. I'm not sure if that's what the Garrett twins said or not. I'm pretty sure both parties said the same thing about the other party providing the supplies, but maybe I'm just misunderstanding what they mean. Because Julie seemed, like, pretty open about supplying the stuff they need to make the alcohol with their food waste. So maybe she just means giving them what they're providing the food waste for in return as supplies? I don't know. Not my problem, I'm just a messenger. I'm a mailman. Welcome back. What can I get you? Uh, I spoke with Julie Fargo. She says the followers will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here. But honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. 
We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Do you have any work you need done? Sure, let's ask him. Let's get the quest for this stuff. We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finders. What sort of proclivities are we talking about? Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. Have you ever run across a sex bot? Not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Um, I'll see if I run across any suitable candidates. Just direct them to the Wrangler. This will give me the map marker, so where should I look for a sex bot? The best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that... Freaked out because a bug touched my hand while I was using my mouse. Anyway, bye bye I'll get your- I'll get your stuff, and then I- let's talk to you since we're here. Alright, I'm up here now. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Oh, did did work, work, work. There we go. I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. What kind of caps are we talking? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. Yeah, what the hell, 50-50. All right, 50-50 it is, but you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. For sure, I'm sure he won't be, like, anywhere near my level, but okay, you got yourself a deal. Great. Oh, that's it. Goodbye. So that got us Debt Collector and then the other quest. Also, every time I walk in, I hear somebody talk to me super drunkenly. Is that you? That's one ragged ghoul you've got with you. Seems like a good guy, though. Mm hmm? Get rough with the escorts, and you'll be seeing the business end of my barrel. Damn, bro, you just have yeah. multiple personalities. I hope you programmed that thing to be friendly to Freesiders. Need something? I heard Motor Runner got taken down. Maybe the fiends will finally destroy themselves now that he's gone. Alright, well, I'm assuming that dude just has the same voice actor, and then whenever they were, like, assigning voices to people in the game, they just kind of gave the people that used that guy's voice all of his dialogue, regardless of what character he was using, because that dude has drunk dialogue, and that dude has really sober dialogue. Alright, let's start off with Debt Collector, because it's going to be the simplest one to complete. Um, Santiago is down by the gate, so let's go talk to Santiago. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. You got paid for sex. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. I'm thinking of the wrong person. Santiago isn't here. He might be. I actually don't know. We'll find out. How would you like to work for the Garretts? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? James Garrett needs a real boyfriend experience for more discerning patrons. Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing? Basically. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? Speech 50, you're a beacon of light in some people's depressing existence. Your work is art. You know what? You're right. I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle. I suppose I could be... Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. Alright. So even though I went to the wrong person that accomplished one of the tasks, Lady Jane is the person that's here. Hello. Lovely to meet you. I was hired by the Garrets to track you down. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. That sucks. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, 
I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? Ooh, Perception 7. Jane, I can tell you're lying through your teeth. Damn. I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it all. I'll find my way home one way or another. You always work for the Garrets. Smile. Alright, so that takes care of that. Now we have to go to the other side of Freeside. He's on the outside on the other side. Hey, oh my god. The one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. You know, I'm hoping there's a mod somewhere where, like, it just programs the kings to give you really obscure items. Like, hey, you're the one that's been helping the king, right? He said he wanted you to have this, and then he gives you, like, a flashlight or something. You're Santiago. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Oh, I need the money. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago, he's a freeside VIP. Uh, do, do, do. Santiago is dead if he doesn't get caught up what he's owed. Sir, Santiago does not know what he has done to offend, but he can explain everything. I'd rather not kill you, but Francine put a bounty on your head. <laughs> yeah, just straight up. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the capsule. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. Oh, well, this is the real world where things happen. He gave me more than he was owed. I guess I really scared him. I've already done this. Okay, though. Whatever, man. Oh, someone's flagging me down in this alley. What could possibly be the reason? Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Friend of yours? Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? No. Nah, this looks like the right alley to me, friend. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, your homeboys are gonna see your dead bodies and learn that you got murked by a ghoul mechanic and a flying toaster. And a mailman, that's tough. I think Grex is the only person we haven't talked to. So, wake up, dude. Hello there. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? Collecting to pay back the Garrets? Oh, yeah. I guess the Garrets sent you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. You don't cheat the Garrets and walk away. Cough up the rest of your rat bait. I don't think I need that. You know what, bro? I'm gonna be a good person. You can keep those ones. I think the objective got completed, so I don't think I did anything wrong. According to the quest log, yes, everything I just did was the correct amount. The other speech check got me some more money from the other people, but man, whatever, who cares? Alright, so back and let's talk to Francine before we head back out. Alright, Francine, let's talk. I hear you've been helping out around town. It's much appreciated, friend. I think I've been doing more than that, but... Uh, but, but, but here are the debts. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got... That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. And do. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. All right, goodbye. Did you? So now I'm gonna try to complete James's quest. So I don't know if I have to go to Mick and Ralph's first, or honestly, you know what? Nah, let's go to the robotics factory around the corner over here, and then I'll see if I can just jury rig a sex bot routine. And then if I can, that's the quest completed. And if I can't, I just have to go talk to Mick and Ralph. And then I have to go to the old Mormon fort anyway, so let's just try to make this as painless as possible if I can. And of course, I have the wild wasteland trait, so whenever I come out of this building, we're gonna have a pretty fun experience. Here is Cerulean Robotics. Gonna be a bunch of rats in here. I should have brought Rex. Star bottle cap if you need it.
Big rat. Dead rat. I attack the terminal and get in. All right, best best hacker ever. First guess. Run diagnostic routine. Upload programming routine. Science sex bot routine. Routine accepted. All right, we don't have to go to Mick and Ralph. If your science isn't high enough, you can go talk to Mick and Ralph and he'll make you a routine. Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. That is a mouthful. It's short net to Fisto. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. I suppose I should test you out before I hand you over to the Garrets. Servos active. Yep, he's good to go, James. Operation complete. Thank you for your business. I can't feel my legs. Numbness will subside in several minutes. Report to the Atomic Wrangler. James Garrett is your new owner. Yes, sir. All right, so that's two down. Now we have to go back to the Mormon Fort, and then after that, what is this the tub of things. Okay. Now, like I said, on the way out. We're gonna have to fight, so maybe this still can help us. There's another rat in here. Here they come. Lucky what we have here, ladies. Another unsuspecting ponce. Over here. This still gonna help? Nope. This still could not care less. All right, so that's a reference to something that I don't get. I've seen that encounter about 20 times. I don't know what the reference is. So who are you? I've been around a while, currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred, and the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Oh, I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the pattern a bit cryptic, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Interested in working for the Garrets? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Wouldn't be... This would be as an escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. When I say escort, I mean <laughs> prostitute. I'm all boot, knives, and leather, friend. And a cool besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Turns out there are customers looking for someone just like you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? <sighs> Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. You'd be an independent with a deep discount on booze, maybe. Mmm. <clears throat> They do have a damn good selection of- If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garrets I'll stop by to work out terms. And do. Vader Gator. So that is that quest completed. Now before I go back to the Atomic Wrangler, we're gonna go take care of the Caleb McCaffrey situation. I've never went through the front gate, so are you going to talk to me? Move along. Nope, the fact that I've already been to Vegas, I guess, negates the fact that I have to talk to you. Copyright music as soon as I walk through the door. How lucky could one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like a fella once said, huh. ain't so that a kick in the head? The what a joke. Give me a share of the caps in your hat and you can go free. Now why the hell should I do that? You're the room me, was kid. completely I've been black. killing scum twice your size since before I your mother her squeezed you out. She hugged back. Uh, all I need is your hat and you're a free man. I'll tell Francine you're dead. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. I sure, keep you can have my hat. I can in. always buy another with the... Alright, thanks, man. If this is just the beginning, my life is gonna be... Beautiful, there's sunshine enough to spread. Is just like the fella said. 
Tell me quick, ain't Ooh. copyright. A kick in the head. Do, 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 do. All right, we're good. I have music volume turned completely off, but I guess they can't turn off the music in Vegas Actual because that's kind of the entire vibe that place has. My God, though. All right, so let's talk to Francine first. What can I get you, friend? Uh, I took care of McCaffrey. Yes. Where's his hat? Right here. Give McCaffrey's hat. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. All right, fantastic. Goodbye, Later. that is the quest debt collector finished. Now on to James. Hey, chum. Welcome back. I actually found you an escort who is a ghoul and a cowboy. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? Her name is Beatrix and she can start immediately. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. I found the sex bot you're looking for. You did? Ha, ah, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. Thing is, Fisto is a heavy-duty piece of equipment built to last. Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. Fisto is already programmed to respond to your commands. It is? It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. You wanted a smooth talker for an escort? I found one. And who would that be? Old Ben has the experience and skill you need. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. Looks like that gives us a full roster. And goodbye. Bye. That is Wang Dang Atomic Tango completed. And I'm pretty sure if I find Uncle Ben and I come back, I'll actually be wearing like a sex suit. So that's fun. Let's go back to the old Mormon fort and talk to Julie Farkas. Julie is going to help us get some people sober. Hey, good to see you. Seems things are ba 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 ba. The Garrett should be sending over supplies. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out, but I can see the Garretts aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Well, it looks like you've earned yourself a discount on supplies now that we'll be fully covered. This supply deal will aid our work immensely. Uh, I don't know how to get to the option I'm looking for. Let's talk about Freeside. Is there anything I can do to help? Apparently, I just completely read through the first option the first time. There is always something needing done. A we need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly. Um, I think I've already done most of those. Let's help the addicts. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Followers of the Apocalypse like us. We have to go find Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. This is the mission high times. This shouldn't be very hard to do. It's just going to take a little bit of tracking everyone down. There go the kids to get the rat I shot. And then after I do this, I should be idolized in Freeside if I'm not already. And I might be pretty close to being idolized by the followers of the Apocalypse as well. This man right here. Which one are you? You're Bill, right? You oh, okay, you're Jacob. Buddy? I could really use a fix. I had a 50-50 shot and I blew it. Julie Farkas says you could use some help. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong. As long as I get my chems. Look pretty bad, Jacob. You should probably stop using chems. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. But my damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. 
At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Take care of the drug dealer. Radio. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. New grenade shot. That is what... Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Tell me about Bill or Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Need you to stop supplying Bill and Jacob. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. So the NCR is supplying you with cheap Kims to keep Freeside down? Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Appreciate your business, Dixon. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? Nope, I took care of the deal. You can go clean. What? I need a fix now! I want to help you get well, Jacob. Fine. If you really care, I'm gonna need... A combination of Fixer, Psycho, and Buff Out would do it in one shot. Never thought about using that combination before. Should be able to get through this with that. Jacob, you're... Ah, no, I'll give him the cam. Thank God. I thought I was gonna die if you didn't... I'm gonna head to the Follower's Fort to get some rest and detox. You've saved my life, friend. Yeah, I gave him the stuff to get clean. I didn't give him... yet or anything that would, like, kill him. Alright, so next up is going to be... Bill on the other side of Freeside, which I don't have a fast travel point to, so... Alright, well, I got points for that for some reason. Keep it gangsta, dog. I keep it gangsta. What up, Bill? You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Bill, Julie, and the rest of your friends miss you. You need your help. Oh, Julie, I've really screwed things up. I'll head over to the fort and get some rest. Alright, he was way easier to convince than Jacob. Now we go back to Julie. Oh, and she's still patrolling the courtyard. Thank God. Alright, Julie. Welcome back, friend. I helped the addiction problem you mentioned. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. Alright, goodbye. High times completed. That's a level up. And Julie doesn't want to talk to us. Alright, so since it's a follower thing, let's get medicine up to 75. Get repair up to 55. Guns up to 75. And then let's put the last two points into... AI energy weapons, I guess? Honestly, none of the perks are really interesting, so we're going to go back to intense training. And we are going to dup this point into strength this time. And I got the boop boop steam achievement for reach 20th level. But, boys and girls, that is everything... Well, most of the stuff we can do in Freeside, so that is where this episode is going to end. If you have enjoyed, leave that like and subscribe down below, and until next time, pizza.